Um, so basically, we were looking for that hitch, uh, the three-point hitch to go on his Hydrotrek 14. We found this. It's a SS12. It had the hitch, the chains, the wheel weights, the plow, the disc, and cultivators for 460 bucks. And so we picked that up. The 12 ran. Um, does need some new tires or tubes or something. But uh, when he went to pick it up, he was able to just drive it right onto the trailer. No, no work needed on it. So, so now we have the Hydrotrack 14, the SS12, and then all the three implements that we wanted. Um, the plow, the disc, and the cultivators were the only ones we really wanted. He would like to get the little uh, blade. Uh, I guess there's a box blade or a snow plow blade or some kind of little blade that goes with these. Um, and he would like to have that. But anyway, awesome. So for our irrigation system, um, we're just going to use the plow because we're not going to be digging out here or anything. So that's going to be deep enough to bury the PVC pipe. And we'll run it down that way. Okay, so here's our really good deal for the week. A real short video for today. Awesome little tractor. Uh, we just had got the Hydro 14 running. Um, figured out what was wrong with that in the Hydro Drive. Um, so now he has the, the, the Sears Hydro Track 14. And then we have this uh, Super 12. So got two of them in about a period of a week here. So it's been nice. But now what we're going to do with the Hydrotrack 14 is the uh, pulley swap on it to make it go pretty quick. Um, these will be easy to do that with um, because of the pulleys on the side. And you can put like a 10-inch pulley on there if you wanted to. Although that would make it go flying, so we probably won't put that big of one on there. We'll probably check it out and see. But anyway, now we have a nice little tractor for the garden. And uh, he's going to go ahead and plow it. Then he's going to disc it. And then he's going to use the cultivators just for the heck of it just to try them out. Um, and then that way we'll be ready for the first planting day in March, according to whatever the almanac calendar says. Um, and it'll be ready to go. But anyway, awesome little find. Had to drive to Dallas to pick it up, but uh, can't beat it. These are really cool little tractors. And um, anyway, check it out. I'll try to get a photo of the disc and the uh, cultivators later, but I think he's not going to get to it today, so we'll put those up at another time wanted to get something up real quick for I don't know just love these little tractors if I had 10 of them I'd be happy trouble with traction right there. Yeah. It's moving though. Like I said, in this sand, those wheels don't grab very well. These chains help a lot though. And uh, hopefully over the next couple years it'll start get, getting better. I'm going to put that compost in there this year right where we plant. Each plant will get a row of that, and then uh, over time it'll help develop the soil in here. Pretty much throw the leaves and everything else we get in there, and then uh, you know eventually it'll go. We also use some of that, you know, topsoil in the bottom when we plant as well to hold the water in. Alrighty, there you go. Hope you like old things too. We love old tractors. That's uh. This will go with our Farmall A pretty well. The Farmall just doesn't have a hitch or anything, and it's too big for this garden. Uh, these are perfect size for a small little garden like this. And if you have a bigger garden, we could probably, you know, find the pull-behind plows to go with the Farmall, but uh, we just like using it to drive around and get the logs and things like that and pull stuff around the yard. Anyway, yep, this will be a, a nice addition to the lawnmower fleet. I think that now makes uh, two of these, the green machine, and then of course the Murray and the Toro that we actually use to mow the grass with, and then we have the uh, golf cart. So a few little machines to ride around the yard. 